In this video, I'm going to test out the world's longest driver, which according to the website, adds up to 60 yards and hits it dead straight. Bold claims, right? Now, you might remember back in February 2020, I tested a driver from this brand and particularly from this man who makes the drivers, Hammer X. Now, this claimed to be at the time the world's longest driver. Um, let's be honest, it was pretty rubbish. I didn't see any gains of distance. In fact, I lost distance. However, there is a newer version, apparently. This is according to the website. This is brand new for 2022. I was like, could it? Could it possibly work? Well, anyway, I bought it. And that's not the only thing I bought. So just like that, boom, it's arrived. In this box is everything that I need to hit the golf ball ridiculously longer. Now, before I do open this, I want to give you a few little stats about the man behind this driver, Jack Ham. Now, this is direct from his website, okay? He's a six-time world drive champion, holds six world records, is the only, this is impressive, the only human alive to average 400 yards off the tee. He outdrives all the leading pros by at least 100 yards. Now believe those stats if you want to. I, I would say there's a little bit of skepticism on those stats, I must admit. Right, let's open everything up and see what we've got inside. Okay, so I've got it all out of the box and this is what we got in total. Hammer X head cover. Believe it or not, I had to pay for that $24. The Hammer Putter. No more three puts. Like, almost impossible to three put. The Hammer Hybrid. It's got the X Factor. This is the one we've been waiting for. The Hammer Turbo Air. But we're not finished there. Oh, no, 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 no. We also picked up some of these zero friction tee pegs. The long ball X long golf balls. The long ball golf glove. The longest glove in golf. So in this video, I'm going to test out absolutely everything. But the big one is going to be the driver. Is the Hammer Turbo Air Driver now the world's longest driver. Now with every single one of these products that I bought on the website is a full website page full of outlandish claims, how these are gonna work, how they're gonna make me hit the ball longer. Also filled with buyer, genuine, buyer reviews that say that these products work. So surely they've gotta work. We're gonna start off with the hybrid. So, I've come down the fairway here on the 18th. This is where I would normally hit my three wood into the green. I'm about 260 yards into this hole. My only concern is that the clubhouse is about 30 yards behind the green. I might smash a window, but let's give it a go. Now, normally I'd carry my three wood around about 250 yards. This would be no problem with the three wood. Now, really, the hybrid should go further. That first shot wasn't the best. It came out really low and actually only carried 194 yards. Second shot was definitely hit better. This one carried 206 yards and actually ran slightly through the green to the left. Third shot, the best of the bunch. Now, again, this only carried 201 yards, but it ran and it ran and it ran about 50 yards to leave myself that point on the green. All in all, the club actually didn't feel terrible, but there's no question that this hybrid was not going any further than my three wood. And to be honest, it goes about the same distance as a normal hybrid. The final shot, this one, which carried 213 yards. This isn't even longer than a three hybrid, let alone a three wood. So next up is this, the hammer putter. Okay, so it's got five key points here plus a test at the end normal putting doesn't work okay so get that whatever i've been told about putting before forget take out my brain i have to use my wrist only do not put with your shoulders only wrists the last point is take the hammer putter test 10 balls from five feet and you will make them all well, let's give that a go. It is quite simple, like a hammer. The face is absolutely tiny. The shaft goes straight into the middle of the head and there's just a black line straight down the front. Okay, come on, hammer putter. Apparently these are basically gimmies. Just use the wrist, that's all I've got to do. <sighs> I 
Okay, so grand total of four out of 10 in. So as you saw there, it didn't work. Now there might be, just might be someone out there that likes that flicky style that this putter could just work for. But that's the issue with a website like this and claims that are so bold saying I will hold all 10 putts from five feet, which you quite obviously saw I did not. So here we go, the main event, the Hammer X, air turbo driver. It's an unbelievable looking driver. It's got missing parts here where I'm guessing these are the wing bits. It's got this absolutely gigantic face. And the big thing is apparently you're supposed to tee the golf ball up to that gold line up there at the top. The shaft as well, it's been squashed. So this shaft now isn't a round shaft that you get on every single driver in the whole of the world. This has been kind of squashed down, so apparently it's more aerodynamic when you swing it down. The only driver to apparently pick up club head speed actually on its own during the downswing. By the way, if you've not guessed already, this driver, as well as the putter, they're all illegal. You can't use them in tournament play. Now, let me remind you of a little bit of the, the spiel that's on the website. It adds up to 60 yards and hits it dead straight. It's got a flipped over face. I'm not quite sure what that means. See-through shape, six turbo air speed slots. I mean, come on. Are you actually being serious? I mean, they're just, they're just words. They don't really mean anything. Now, because I was unsure about how far this driver might actually go, I've decided to take the precautions and not test this driver out on the golf course. Not where I might smash this 350 yards, 400 yards into some unsuspected golfers. I've come here to the driving range instead. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smash a load of practice balls first, get used to the technique that is required for this driver. Then I'm gonna hit some golf balls on GC quad. Let's start off with Pro V1s. If I'm not hitting it a million miles by that point, I'm gonna use the long golf balls. And then the final straw is that glove that again promises to hit it further. You ready for this? Hold on to your hats. Oh my goodness. It like whistles. <laughs> now, this part of the test is gonna be hammer driver, my normal T peg, and a Pro V1 golf ball on the GC quad. I normally carry the golf ball 280 yards. I normally get about 160 miles per hour ball speed, swinging at about 110 miles per hour. So, again, if this lives up to the claims, this should be carrying 340 yards. Got to tell you, it didn't carry 340 yards. So that one, 239 carry, 147 miles per hour ball speed. Yeah. But you know what? It's the first shot with Pro V1. Let's not judge it just yet. Okay, that shot was definitely hit better than the first, without question. However, it still only carried 251 yards. Right, come on, let's hit a few more. Let's see if these numbers can change at all. And then let's have a little bit of fun. Okay, that felt like one of the better ones that I hit, it did. Okay, come have a quick look at this. 250 yards of carry. Now, just to check, let me hit my driver. Right now, with Pro V1, same setup, just to see what the difference actually is. Already, feels easier to swing. Now, I'll be honest with you, I didn't hit that great. 262 carry. Not my normal, but I'll be honest with you, I hit that dreadful. Let me just hit one more, just to see what an actual good shot looks like. Like that felt like a better shot. Carry distance is 282. So, regardless of whether it was the old one, or the new one doesn't seem to work. However, one last roll of the dice. Let's go long ball golf balls, long tee, hammer X, hammer X glove, just to see, is there any truth in any of these claims?
with all that I got 233 yards carry what a load of trash I lost 50 yards I did not gain 60 guys please please be careful when you're buying stuff online do not get sucked into any of these terrible infomercials most of the time they are absolutely horrendous this proving that case thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe see you next time